Hello everyone, welcome back to Blakestone. It is a beautiful August summer's day here in the UK. Uh, so yeah, lots of rain. So I thought I'd uh, crack on and do a bit on this. So I haven't done anything on it in ages. Um, yeah, today subframe. So just stripping down the old subframe, taking the bits off. So I've actually already done one side and I did that months ago and I did it off camera. Um, but I thought I'd uh, bring you along and uh, show you stripping down the other side. Um, not as straightforward as it first looked, it turned out. Um, quite a few little unusual bits with it. But um, yeah, let's crack on and get it stripped down. So just before we get into the nuts and bolts of it. Um, so this was the subframe. I think it's possibly the original subframe of my 1989 Austin Mini Designer. Um, some bits of it are like really good condition, such as that. It's still got the original uh, sort of paint or powder coat or whatever it was on it, and looks good. But then other bits over here are uh, less good. So uh, you know, there's no there's no strength in that whatsoever. So um, considering this holds the suspension on the car, suboptimal as they say. So. Um, yeah, you know, it needs replacing. So, still not sure what I'm doing with a replacement yet. I don't know whether to go down a genuine one or get a reconditioned used one. So, ADO equipment on, on the Tinter web. They sell sort of genuine ones which have been repaired, checked for true, and then powder coated. So, I'm tempted to go down that route. It's a lot cheaper, but I don't think it's a reduction in quality. Uh, also, I forgot to mention I'm using just a metallic magnetic parts tray just to put all the fasteners in. I'll probably end up using new when it goes back together, but just keeping them all in one place. Right, I'll get the camera set up over the other side and then we'll start taking off this radius arm. So before I start stripping this down, I need to check if there's any play in this radius arm. So I did it when I was on the car and I felt fine. And it certainly feels fine now. It's quite hard to tell because I've got it on these little dollies at the moment, the whole subframe, but it doesn't appear, it doesn't feel like there's any play in it. Um, if the sort of ready sums haven't been greased, they do wear out and then you get slop on them and then they need to be rebuilt. But I think this one feels okay. So now it's just a case of undoing all the fasteners. Give it everything a Liberal spray and WD-40. I've mentioned before I buy this in bulk, so five litres, and then you fill it up in the little spray can. Uh, not spray can, spray bottle. And uh, for me, it works out much more economical. So, so I also use my Parkside um, impact gun from the middle of Lidl. Uh, always a bit of a sucker for a bargain in, in the middle of Lidl. In fact, these dollies, I've, I've got the subframe on, they were also from the middle of Lidl. Rated to 250 kilos, uh, really useful for moving furniture, and in fact I even had the mini sitting on it when I was positioning it in the garage. So right, let's see if I can get these bolts off on the bracket. Now that's pretty tight, let's just up the uh, torque. And there we are, nice and simple. Right, keep doing that for everyone as well and move forwards. Sorry, should have said noise alert at the start of that. This next bit is very fiddly. So there's one bolt down the bottom there, but I've already got the socket on. And then if I can try and put you in there, you can just see the head of the second bolt. That bolt was absolutely covered in dirt and detritus, to use a posh term. Um, that is like the bottom bolt, although it's on the top this way around, the subframe's upside down. 
So now I've got to whiz off those two. So bottom one should come off fine just with the impact gun. So noise alert. Hopefully. Voila. So trying a different approach now. I braid on a um, long reach 12 mil socket, a deep one, half inch, it just seemed to go on. So let's see if that'll get a bit more per chase. It was just uh, rounding off otherwise. So let's see if this will come on. It's going. Oh, that is tight. Just sheared the bolt. Oh well, it's uh, it's loose now. So I've removed that snap bolt from the socket. Next thing I want to do is undo the brake line, which is there. Um, so yeah, just pop that off and then there's one large nut behind and I think then that's everything to get the radius arm off. Um, if you notice a bit of stress in my voice, it's because I've just spotted a mouse in the garage off camera. Um, don't like mice. Does anyone? Um, also, if you hear a uh, in the background, it's because I've set up a mouse trap. So um, fingers crossed, we catch Mickey before the day is out. Right, I'll get these uh, bolts undone, nuts undone. So they're nine sixteenths, and uh, came undone quite easily. I think you can see somebody has sprayed some under seal or something on this in the past. A little bit tight. All the brake lines will be replaced anyway when I do this. You just don't take chances with brakes, do you? So, you don't want to restore or renovate or recommission whatever a full car and then uh, go down the road and stick it into a tree first time you press the brakes. So as I said before, it's getting all new brake lines and when I pulled that apart, I think I fractured the brake line at the T. Um, so obviously if you were doing this on your daily driver, you, you want to be prepared for uh, replacing the brake lines. Um, yeah, I'm not that fussed because I'm going to replace them all anyway. Right, just that big nut to whiz off now, so hopefully they should come off. Well, that was nice and simple. Big nut. So now that should be free to come apart. So just loosened off that bracket there just by hammering it out the way. And if I hammer the bolt out, give it a bit of a wiggle. I forgot how difficult this was. That's the bracket off. And yeah, it is coming, it just needs a bit more sort of wiggle. Oops, that's gone wrong. The problem is as well, you've got the, uh, the knuckle down here for the trumpet, and you need to sort of clear that at the same time. So. See? Ta da! One radius arm removed. So there we are, quick look at the radius arm. It all looks fine. Uh, obviously, the shock absorber seen better days. Have you ever seen a shock absorber seize before? It actually won't go up or down, which is in quite a contrast to the other one, which. Uh, you can see that has pretty much no resistance on it. Yeah, so it definitely needs new shockers, <laughs> as well as new sills and everything else. Um, so yeah, I'll put those to one side, keep them safe, and then I'll uh, yeah continue stripping down the bits I need off the subframe. Come back to that in a minute, I've prized it out a bit and then just soaked it in WD-40.
Um, but I'm going to remove the other bits. I've got the exhaust hangers to come off, trunnions to come off, and the brake T valve thing. So I don't know if I will actually reuse these, but um, they're worth having anyway. They may be uh, able to be refurbished. And if worst case scenario is, if I don't use them, then I'll know exactly which ones I need. Well, the first exhaust hanger, the um, the rubber just completely sheared off. So, but the bracket's fine. I'll just have to get the new rubbers for it. Um, I'll do the same on the front and see whether that comes off successfully. That exhaust hanger came off fine. So, probably put a new rubber on it. Well, I'll probably buy the new rubber block and just reuse the bracket. Um, or it might just be cheap enough just to buy a new one. So. We'll put that to one side anyway, so that's nice and safe. And then, uh, yeah, let's get this uh, this T off for the brakes. There's the T off. Fairly simple, just one nut, one bolt either side of it. So the T will be reusable, but say the pipes won't. But I'll keep those as a template for when I make some new ones to go on the new subframe. So what have I got left to take off? Uh, I've still got the trumpet to do and I've still got the trunnions to do so I think we'll do the trumpet last we'll have a look at the trunnions now so the rear trunnion is what holds the subframe to the body of a car so this is what sort of bolts through to the floor and the front one bolts to the heel board so it should be fairly straightforward to get this one off this one's just one bolt so There we are. Simples, as I say. Put that one over there. The other one's slightly harder. Um, it's got like a large nut at the back. I'll pull you around and then I'll show you what I mean. So you can see it there is a large sort of corroded nut on the back. So I'm going to clean that up. A bit more WD-40 then whiz that off. Right, lefty loosey, righty tighty. Yeah, it seems to be coming off now, so that's a relief. Once you get the nut out so far, the, this whole sort of pin will start spinning. So this has got two holes and you kind of get a tool to put it in. Sometimes the um, spanner for an angle grinder fits, but I've just clamped some roll grips on just to steady it whilst I uh, undo the nut. Nearly off there now. There we are, and that just withdraws. Trunnion removed. Obviously, the, uh, the rubbers are really perished, the bushes, so they will be getting replaced. But the um, actual trunnion itself is the, the metal bit is perfectly serviceable. So, the last job to do is to remove this trumpet. So I sprayed it all with WD-40 earlier and I've just dropped the subframe on the floor because the, the trolleys were moving around too much and uh, it feels like it wants to go but it just won't, it won't go so if I can prise it up on that side and just free it off a bit There we are, so what's happened there is the metal ring, which uh, sits on top of the donut, is just uh, sheared off. And then the, the trumpet and the donut are still as one. So I'll have a job to do to separate that. Now looking at the other one. So these are stamped Dunlop. You probably can't see it. Um, which makes me think these are possibly originals on the car. So, yeah. Certainly they've uh, seized in position quite well, so they've been there some time, you know. And then with that off, you can sort of see the horrors of the, the subframe and how badly damaged it is. Yeah, not good. 
So to try and separate the two, I've just wedged the, the donut in the vise and then hopefully this should just tease apart. I need a little bit more pressure. It's coming. And I go the other way. I think what's happened is the um, the metal ring at the uh, inside face is also uh, just frozen onto the trumpet and yeah I can just see I'm just shearing the whole thing off underneath now let's spin that round and see if I can pull it the other way And tight. There you go, you can see that the threaded metal ring, which is part of the donut, has come off and yeah, you can sort of see how that has done that, so uh, not ideal, but I'm probably getting that off with some heat and then I'm probably going to, yeah, need to clean this up anyway, so good. I have had some success in getting this end off, so that's the other end off the, uh, the trumpet. So what I've done is I've heated it up quite hot with a blowtorch, uh, just use sort of average sort of plumber's blowtorch sort of thing. I then got the... Uh, the spring compressor, which is normally used for compressing the donuts, and then oh sorry, quenched it. So when it was really hot, quickly quenched it with water, and then put this on, and then hopefully use it a bit like a slide hammer, and it should come apart. It's obviously, really difficult to grip in the vice from being there. Uh, so, um, sort of prism, um, cone shaped. Don't think that one's gonna have it, so I think a bit more heat. Same thing again, and we'll see how that goes. It's going. Let's see if I can get a screwdriver under that to help it on its way. Bit of WD forty won't do any harm. No, nope. got the knuckle out. Didn't want to do that, but and there we are. Success. And I think we're done. So that was a productive few hours. You can really see the corrosion on the subframe there uh, as I was prizing off the, the trumpet. Some bits were sort of bending and flaking off, so it's not. Oh good, the other side doesn't look too bad, but yeah, yeah, it is what it is. So um, that'll hang around for a bit before I wait in for scrap, probably. And then over here on my desk, on my worktop, I've got all the bits I've taken off. So all the parts are labelled up in bags, so I know what's what. Trumpets are there, the brake pipes are there, and the radius arms are there. So my next, well, I'm not sure if it'll be the next video, but one video I will strip these down, redo the brakes, check the wheel bearings, clean them all up, paint them and everything like that. So, yeah, productive morning in the garage. So, thank you for watching. Um, thank you to everybody who's subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, then why not? 
It does not cost you anything, just click the subscribe button and the little bell notification and you'll be notified of when all my videos go live. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram at Blake's Den and please like and comment on this video. So thank you all and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.